We begin today with that bus crash this morning in Rockland County. It happened in Spring Valley. The bus was packed with kids headed to school. It crashed into a home this morning. Chopper 2 was over the scene. Police say seven children were taken to the hospital along with the driver. CBS 2's Kevin Racone joins us live from the scene now with more on this investigation tonight. Kevin? Dick and Christine work underway right now to get that school bus out of this area safely. It's got some punctured tires. It's got a lot of damage to it, so trying to get it out of here won't be easy. And as that bus got moved away, it is clear this could have been a lot worse, especially considering this was a bus full of elementary school kids, some as young as five. Police tell us it veered off the road, hit two parked cars before slamming into this home. It's hard to imagine how anyone could walk away without a scratch after this accident. Ramapo police say there were 22 kids aboard the yellow school bus as it hit a utility pole, a tree, two parked cars, and then a home. Seven kids were taken to the hospital, including this 10-year-old who was released shortly after. Yeah, he has bruising on his upper leg, but no broken bone or no muscle injury. His mother says it was a miracle he was able to get out safely. She says he crawled through a window to escape. He made the, the ambulance. He told, call my mom, call my that's, mom, that's, that's calm good. her down, but don't be hysterical. Other parents showed up here at the scene for a first-hand look. Thankful it wasn't worse. We do know two five-year-olds suffered more serious injuries, though police say they are not life-threatening. Time and again, vehicles, especially buses, especially buses who have no pickups or drop offs in this area, speed in this neighborhood, uh, which is a danger for everyone around here. Yossi Getzner lives a block away and says school buses are often seen speeding through this area in an effort to avoid traffic on other roads. If you use the area as a cut through, there's a bigger chance that you're going to speed. There needs to be, you know, some measures better lighting, speed bumps. For now, investigators are trying to figure out what caused the bus to leave the roadway. The bus driver, a 37 year old man, was taken to the hospital and treated for a cut to his head. We're told he showed no signs of impairment. And back out here live, we are seeing this work continue as the uh, school bus was moved away from the home moments ago. We're going to see it come down uh, this way uh, moments from now as they try to clear this area out. And one thing we can tell you, we, we got a chance to talk to the homeowners off camera. They were clearly shaken up. They say no one inside the home was hurt, which is a, a good sign. But just uh, taking a look at the damage, it is clear it's going to take some time to make the repairs needed to get things back to normal. We're live in Spring Valley, Kevin Rincon, CB. Yes, two news. All right, Kevin, thank you.